Hey, what's up, y'all? This is my um, setup for using the APC-40 just for Scratch Live. Using remote script from um, remotescripts.blogspot.com and just for Scratch Live and Ableton. It's a beautiful thing. Since I already got it, I might as well use it. Okay, so on APC-40, you see the lights blinking. In Ableton, I have nothing except for tracks four tracks and four return tracks that's it so when I use the APC 40 in scratch lab the lights will light up that's all they're for that's it nothing else even though I got it labeled as scratch lab MIDI controller that's it it means APC 40 okay so I did change the script so I'm using shift 7 and I also, if I bring up the bridge, I am using shift six, and I also turn them bottom lights off and move my samples up so I know it's, uh, you know, four by four, so them other lights won't get in my way while I'm trying to trigger something on the drum sample. But that's another video anyway. So shift seven, I like the way the layout was at first when I had started instead of me doing a whole new one. So I just went into the remote scripts of the matrix. Um, patch whatever it is dot py and I change this row for blinking blinking so that's green left deck red right deck and these two solid orange they nothing but these I use these bottom two to record into Ableton if you know, I want to loop now that's a, like I said that's another video and these one two three four five six these are for the sampler and the blinking one two three four are the bank shifts for the sampler okay let's keep going down the line so this this all stop clips is lit, lit solid that's how it is in the um shift seven when you get it if you download them and whatever if you're gonna use it i use clip one to turn on the effects and scratch live on the echo out so you know it stays on and then the one two three is for on the right deck one two three to turn on and off so the last one two three four is to switch the deck from either side of the effects so you see how it is a uh, deck one you can have you know so that's the first one turn it on you can turn it off and then you can go to the right side, right side, or you can go like that, or you can go like that. Easy. And then the effect send C. I use C because, like I said, it's another video because this is open when I'm using the bridge. Effect C is for the parameters on the right side. See? So meaning that I got the effects send uh, blank in Ableton in the background, it'll still light up. So that's one, and that's two, and that's two, three, and three, so on. Okay, moving on down the line. Solo is just to change the tabs. With the solo buttons just to change the tabs, like to record. I didn't mark the hardware because I do that straight off the 57 and the SP sampler. And go to the D, the uh, DJ effects. I don't, yeah, I don't even have the Ableton map either. Also, I could, but it's like whatever. Okay, so the line faders are for each individual line on the sample bank. That's as said, the master is for the master on the sampler bank, as is, and then uh, the regular bank select buttons is for you know your up and down. So left over. You know, up and right, drop it down. You can drop it down, scroll through deeper in the crates, depending on how you got your crates out and about. Anyway, and the tap tempo is the focus. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. And then so I do have in Ableton, these are, because I'm using these, so these aren't mapped to nothing. My device controls because I actually use those when I bring up the bridge. But... This is just for Scratch Lab, so most likely I will mark these with video SL to change the effects and 
all the parameters and on that side because like I said this is just the scratch just for using it for scratch lab as a MIDI controller and is it works with no problem and that's it so play something okay cue The effects. Sample. That's it.